1983, Universal Pictures made a movie called Scarface. It was a man who did crime, and that was really fucking cool. In 2013, a team of developers called Overkill Software made Payday 2, and that was also about crime. That was also really fucking cool. In 2016, Universal Pictures and Overkill Software did a collab and made the Scarface Character Pack and the Scarface Heist Pack. Both of these packs were also really fucking cool. Sadly, in 2020, because of licensing issues, Overkill Software had to lock away the Scarface Character Pack. Thankfully, Steam Keys exist. So in 2022, I bought a Steam Key and decided to make a review on Kingpin, cause fuck it. Before I even finished this script, I barely used Kingpin. But after the somewhat newest update, I don't know what newest update is, has come out after this video, but in the update, they had Bulldozers to mayhem and a new enemy called sharpshooters, which are just like Snipers, but they can go indoors. So Yeah But it's funny cuz they are so weak against kingpin But I can't blame him because he's a literal tank and it really just shows how much kingpin is a love child of stoic and muscle because it has you know 80% more health, but it gets easier the harder difficulty it gets until you get around death wish, but that's besides the point. See, with stoic on easy, the fact is is that you're taking way too little damage that it doesn't really matter that you use stoic. The entire idea is that you heal back the more damage you take. And it's the same thing with kingpin, sort of. See, if you use stoic too much, then you might as well not use it at all. An easy mode forces you to use stoic, so in relation, using kingpin too much, you might as well not use it. But the fact is, is that the 80% health on its own is good enough to beat easy mode. So, while it's not as effective as stoic, you're still not immortal. We'll get into that. First of all, of course, passive, 80% health, again, love child of stoic, and muscle. What it really excels at is with the injector. Now here's the thing, the injector for an entire 6 seconds after usage, you heal back 75% of the damage you take, that'll come in later, till your health is at half. And after that, you heal back 100% of the damage you take. And on top of that, any armor that gets destroyed while the injector is in effect will be converted into health. But there's of course downsides. You will always be targeted. It's not a 15% increase or anything. You will always be targeted if the enemy is able to. So this thing is sort of good for tanking. Now, when I said that you heal back all the damage you take, I meant that. Meaning you take damage and then you heal it back. There's no damage reduction. You don't take 75% off, you heal that back. Meaning if you take too much damage, you're gone. You're done. You're dead. You, you fucking whatever but unless you like you're pretty low on death wish or you're a maniac and you play on death sentence but at that point you just die from what one shot from anything either way you're gonna have a pretty easy time using this thing because first of all the timer is only 30 seconds that might seem like a lot and to a certain degree it might be for a fast action pace game like payday 2 but then you get into the, you know, the, the upgrades for it, and then you realize that you just have stems all the fucking time if you're really aggressive with this thing. First of all, when you use the stem, it immediately recharges when you use it, meaning by the time it's done, you'll only have 24 seconds. Additionally, when you take 50 damage with Kingpen, that reduces the timer by a second. So, yeah. You're meant to take damage with this thing. And third, but of course not least, this is a throwable item. Meaning, 
there's one little, 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 you know, thing that uh, every single throwable perk deck gives you, and that's the fact that you can recharge it by killing people. The RPK. First of all, this gun looks cool, which is the only reason why I picked it in the first place, but after I used it, this thing synergizes so fucking well with Kingpin. See, here's the thing. The RPK is a light machine gun. I don't have to say more. You kill cops, a lot of cops, a lot of fucking cops. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, the mailman, fucking, I can't get snipers. I can't get anything from a distance, right? Fuck you. No. Um, the Swedish K exists, and I don't know, I just, it, it, I, it looked interesting, so I used it. There's probably better options out there than the Swedish K, but it looks cool, and it sort of goes with my 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 fit, if you will, I guess you could say. So I just kind of have that. Anyways, uh, basic stuff, light armor, medic bag, and of course, as a melee, I have a baton, because the first thing you think of when you think of a drug lord, you think of, po of the police, not the criminals. Anyways, here are all of my skill points. Uh, I guess we'll go over them. First of all, we got Mastermind. Converts, I don't have to say anything, they're just really good, and especially with Kingpin, it's more health, more speed. Yeah. And the thing is, is because I like to use light armor, and you might think that, oh, wouldn't you use heavy armor? Because, you know, you gotta regain more health with the regen thing. And to that I say, no. Because I, I, I like movement but i also like to be beefy at least a little bit which is why i always pick light armor so of course you know converts healing and then of course for sharpshooter faster reload time because i'm i'm carrying a fucking you know that next best thing to a machine gun and then more stability and aim for obvious reasons then we get to enforcer and it's all in tank yeah it's just more uh, basics more armor more damage reduction damage reduction uh, it's, I don't have to say anymore, but then we get to technician and then we get to breacher and then we skip breacher for obvious reasons oppressor I'm using guns now. My experience with kingpin is uh, I, I Let's just say I had a story arc with it see before the newest update and whatnot I barely used it like the 80% health was enough See, okay, because see, my friends and me played on Mayhem, and that's, you know, just, it's really not that hard. It's like a little bit of an upgrade from Overkill. If you can handle Overkill, there's a pretty good chance you can deal with Mayhem. But after the newest update, I have to deal with more enemies, especially Skulldozers, and if you don't know what that is, you must be either low-leveled or you don't even know what game I'm talking about. And then the Sharpshooters are completely... Complete shit. I'm gonna say it outright. See, I was doing a little research on them to see what their name was. And in the process, I found a little post that said that they were too overpowered because you couldn't see their laser sights. Now, there's probably a whole s other slew of bad stuff. But then, you know, Overkill was like, alright, 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 let's just add a laser to it. And then they made the fucking a giant piss laser that just is seeable from across the map, even if it isn't aiming towards you. Like, I swear to god, I'll be fighting an enemy, and then I'll just shit like the fucking Death Star laser just like zooms past me. I look left, I look right, in whichever way it is, I'm gonna fucking find it soon, and I'll be able to gut it down, because it's surprisingly easy to kill them. Now, like, does that mean that they're easy, like the easiest enemy to kill? Let's skip that question. What do I give the Scarface? Uh, fucking 7 out of 10. It's really fun. I don't know what to say anymore. It's a really fun perk deck. Oh yeah, and then there was Scarface, wasn't there? Yeah. So, oh. 
you, uh, going anywhere tonight or, uh, <laughs> fuck, I'm so lonely. <laughs>